Okay, the audience for this quote is a friend. This is shown by using informal language such as flames leaped. It was more formal. If it was more formal, they might have described the situation more clearly instead of using personification. Because of the audience, the setting could have been anywhere informal, such as a home. Okay, um, there were good elements to this. Um, we've got the use of personification has been identified. Um, however, I think the explanation behind it is something we need to develop. I don't think... Um, it's because it's an informal situation. Um, I think the reason that we get these flames leaping is because we get the sense Jill wants to dramatise the situation. She wants to make it sound worse than it was in order to evoke more sympathy from her friend than he is giving her already. Um, so she's really exaggerating that situation to him. Um, and I think try not to um, identify where the conversation has taken place. It's often going to be very difficult unless you're told the setting. Um, so don't try and guess at it um, because it could be any one of a, of a few places, um, especially when it's between friends. So there's some development to do here. Um, I think you've identified the use of personification well and identified the quote, but we need to look at the explanation behind it a little bit.